guys, this is the first of a several part series on common scams that you need to know about before studying anything else about your small online business. Remember to watch until the very end of this video to see the entire playlist that I've made just for you, containing all of the common scams that I've personally encountered on PayPal, my website, Etsy, and Amazon. Some of these buyers aren't exactly doing this to make a living, and if they asked, they wouldn't think that they're breaking any law or doing anything malicious by participating in these scams. They don't think that they're being a thief. These buyers simply think that they're being clever and they found a loophole in your business that they can exploit. But as you and I know, this is still wrong and unethical. I call some of these situations soft scams as they're often disguised as legitimate business complaints. These buyers know that small businesses tend to be less experienced with customer service than perhaps a huge corporation. And they know that you are terrified of bad feedback. Thus, these scammers assume that you are easy to manipulate into giving them free items or worse, cash. One soft scam is the terrible quality, but I want to keep it scam. This buyer will send you a long ranty message nitpicking all of the horrible things wrong with the item. They are so inconvenienced by the terrible item that you sent them that they demand a full refund and refuse to be further inconvenienced by mailing the item back. Never ever give your buyer a refund without getting the item back. The buyer wants you to refund them and they keep the item because they actually like the item. I personally have a strict policy requiring all items to be returned to me, no matter what. As a seller, you should insist on any photographic proof of quality issues. If the buyer's complaint is clearly visible as a feature of your product in your product photos, I wouldn't give them a return label, and I would require them to send the item back to you at their expense. For example, I personally sell raw gemstone jewelry. If a buyer says that the stone looks rough or dull, but looks just like the photos that I have on my website, I'm not sending them a return label simply because they have buyer's remorse. However, if I clearly made a mistake or there's a broken stone or something wrong with the jewelry, I send them a return label at my expense, but I still require them to mail the item back. To keep this simple, always require items to be sent back to you, even if you made a mistake. This policy will completely protect you from this scam and will make sure that you will not have to worry about any dishonest customers. Thanks for watching. Check out this playlist if you want to see more scams that you need to know about. Remember to subscribe if you liked it.